hello friends welcome to our youtube channel mechanical engineering in this video we will see what is martensite so coming forward martensite is a material which results from a specific type of phase transformation that produces the structure known as martensite so this martensitic transformation first observed and described in steels only so uh, although steels they also occur in may, uh, other materials like um, titanium alloys and you will also listen about this nickel martensite so the name comes from adolf martens professor adolf martens who who suggested that the martensitic reaction is displacive in nature and forms through a highly ordered crystallographic shear transformation and uh, diffusionless this process is diffusionless which involves no change in chemical composition or atomic diffusion and no atomic redistribution between phases so this is no change in chemical composition and chemical composition and diffusion less process so the martensite this is a case of steels if we will see in case of steel then if you will cool from this reason so martensite is starting range and martensite finishing range so this is the range for martensite is starting to finish range so we if we need the 100% martensite then we have to cool from this region to this region below or behind this nose of c curve so for 100% uh, martensite we have to come from here to below mf this is the martensite finish temperature and this is the martensite start temperature and if we hold in between that is some tempered martensite so this is the range of martensite transformation in triple t diagram that is time temperature transformation diagram the next one martensite transformation were first observed in steels as i told in the last slide so uh, this martensite transformation in steels mostly occurs during rapid cooling from above austenitic uh, temperature which is also referred as quenching so uh, during which the cooling rate is sufficient to avoid any diffusional diffusional solid state transformation that is diffusionless transformation diffusionless transformation and this is also this uh, shear mechanism in formation of martensite so in case of this uh, martensite this diffusion less means there is no diffusion in the solid state transformation because the solid state transformation diffusion available in ferrite and perlite if the, if there is no diffusion and shear mechanism is available that means martensite will form so coming to the next one so in this slide we will see that two interpenetrating fcc will give us the bct structure that is martensite that is body centered tetragonal crystal structure is body centered tetragonal so these are the two fcc if we match the face center upper face center atoms to the corner like this so the bottom one also so this kind of formation comes from bain distortion mechanism so uh, this relation gives the bct structure and uh, this forms the martin side so in this one there is a a equal to b not equal to c so martensitic uh, microstructure in this one there are two kinds of uh, microstructure available in case of martensite that is lathe and plate so the microstructure of materials in steel has different morphologies that is uh, lathe or plate so for steel 0 to 0 0.6 carbon the martensite has the appearance of lathe kind and that is called the lathe martensite and uh, the steel greater than 1% carbon it will form a 
plate like structure called plate martensite so plate martensite as the name indicates from uh, forms as a lenticular shape like uh, like this one so crystal be the zigzag pattern of smaller uh, plates so the uh, microstructure so this one is the lath martensite and this one is the plate martensite uh, microstructure this is the source of these uh, pictures and uh, during martensitic phase transformation in steels the austenite with a phase centered cubic lattice is transformed to martensite with a bct lattice by a diffusion less shear process as i told in the previous slide diffusion less and shear process these are the two important mechanism in formation of martensite due to large difference in alloying uh, solubility between fcc lattice and bct lattice the distorted bct lattice will be highly supersaturated with carbon dioxide that's why it is called as a supersaturated solid solution and uh, this is about the tempered martensite so main advantage of martensite is that it's very brittle and uh, martensite is so martensite is very brittle actually this is a disadvantage so uh, martensite is desirable because it's uh, also very hard to reach a compromise between the hardness and brittleness of a steel tempering is required that means uh, there will be some reduction in the hardness and there will be a little bit increase in the toughness or ductility so uh, we need the tempering process to achieve um, because in tempering uh, the residual stresses will be relieved to achieve the desired hardness strength and ductility or toughness martensite steels are often subjected to uh, tempering after quenching after quenching just after quenching the temp uh, martensite will form and will and will uh, put into the tempering process so it will give the optimum uh, mechanical properties for service conditions so the tempering essentially involves heating the material to elevated temperature in the range of 150 and 700 degrees centigrade which is also below the ac1 temperature so that the structure will not change and this 150 to 700 means there are the five stages of tempering and the different kinds of tempering is also available and holding for a specific time and then cooling and so this ac1 temperature that is specifically for steels so that is some 720 7 degree centigrade and uh, this holding for a specific time and then cooling means uh, that kind of uh, normal or a furnace or air and uh, so these all are uh, important facts about the martensite so thank you